everyone. So today I'm going to share some of my favorite art supplies that have come in the Sketchbox subscription box in the premium box for the year of 2022. This is just a selection of some of my favorites. I'm going to go with like a top five and then some honorable mention. And in this video, I am not really going to include the paintbrushes or the substrates. It's just going to be the mediums. So first of all, I'd like to go through a quick review of the supplies from the year of 2022. And I mostly have them sort of cataloged in this sketchbook. So January 2022 was full of these crazy watercolor powders. And this is actually December of 2021, so that's not in the perfect order. February, we had a really interesting Pilot Parallel Pen, as well as Mechanical Pencil, etc., etc. I hope this is close enough for you to see. And then in March, it was all about Tinted Charcoal and some other pastel and charcoal supplies. And you can see my little artwork. Sometimes I include, usually I include it in my... Um, April, I believe we did not actually get a menu, so I have mostly some of the supplies here. There were some watercolor and watercolor markers, as well as pit artist marker, but I'm not sure if that was exactly all of them. I'd have to look at my video because the menu was digital. You had to scan it. May, we have the Holbein Artist Gouache, as well as multi-liner, a brush, this cool paper... June, some colored pencils. They were Derwent Chromaflow, as well as a couple Holbein, some colored pencil blender, a nice brush there. Then July, we had some really interesting Kuratake Gansai Tambi graphite pans, as well as these items. August was one I didn't do a whole lot on because I was out of town, but we got some uh, art crayons by Marabou, the Sakura Gold Jelly Roll Pen, as well as the Fine Tech Metallic Watercolor Pen, some ink, watercolor ink there. And then September was, whoa, totally new and wild to me, all about Sanguine. We got some Sanguine Powder Sticks, this nice sketching set, as well as some soft knife and covers. And then this toned paper. October, like Inktober, of course, we had to get some ink. We got some lovely um, orange and black ink. This totally new to me, cool inkline painting pen. That was sort of the wow object of that box. And November, Copic. Can't go wrong with Copic. Some Copic sketch markers, as well as one Copic classic. Let's move my grumpy attitude ornament over. Actually, I have it washi on here, so let's flip it down. And then you can see there were some Kuratake Manga liners, as well as some more Holbein colored pencils. That's the end of this book, and I started a new sketchbook, which with December. Right here we have December, which we had some Daniel Smith um, dot card, a whole set of fine liners, whole by an acrylic gouache, interesting paintbrush, and watercolor paper. And that is it for the quick little review of the year of supplies. And we'll go in with what was, I think, my favorite. Now, the top five favorite art supplies are not necessarily going to be in order one to five, but these I really loved, the Holbein gouache, and especially also in these colors. It was really a joy to work with them, and I have still been used, I've continued to use them. Um, I think that is the true test. Here's the page again with all the supplies that came in the May 2022 uh, premium sketch box, and you can see just beautiful colors. They mix so well together. They make a lot of cool colors, and I just love them. And I haven't done a whole lot with gouache, but I am excited to continue using them. And I've used them more than a couple times, which is the true test. Another favorite supply out of the five would be the Copic Sketch Markers. Who doesn't love a Copic marker? I mean, they are the gold standard. They are pricey, but 
They are the gold standard in alcohol markers. And this was the November 2022 box. And the honorable mention, I suppose, goes to the Copic Classic marker just because I kind of prefer the um, sketch. I'm not even sure why. This one has, I don't know, I think I like the feel of the sketch better. Right? I just like the shape better. And, but this is still just an excellent marker as well. And this also came in the box and love the art I was able to make with it. I just, I like alcohol markers and I probably should use them more. Another supply, which is also in this box, but it was also in another box, June as well. Let's find June. So June included some Holbein colored pencils as well as November. So I'm going to pull all of those in here for. Now I do love colored pencils, but these are just really great. And I have a large set of Prismacolor and I love those also. Um, but the Holbein I had not ever had not ever used before and I really liked working with them. And as far as a colored pencil goes, top notch. I was not as uh, impressed with the Dormant Chromaflow um, and probably just because of the way I use them or whatever, I don't know. Um, that could change, my opinions do a change over time, but as far as, and I do like using the Dormant, but my favorite went to the Holbein ones, so they made it in the top five. Another item in the top five that I really loved, which I haven't had a chance to use enough of, were these from the August box, Fine Tech watercolors. There were not a lot of things I loved in the August box. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Marabou art crayons, although an honorable mention should go out to the Jelly Roll pen. I have always liked the Jelly Roll. It's pretty consistent in its usage. It's, an, it's a good little workhorse. And then, you know, since these are shimmery, I mean, who doesn't love? Well, I just love a little bit of shimmer. Beautiful. But these fine tech watercolor, and these are pricey too. Like I was thinking, I want to buy a whole set, but that's gonna have to wait because yeah, it's expensive. Um, but I can enjoy using these two for right now, and and not necessarily spend the budget on them until I have enough time to really devote to using them. Those are in the top five, and finally, well, we'll keep this little scrap paper. Another item that I think deserves a top five spot are these manga liners, which I wasn't sure what to expect from them at first. I love the silver. Again, a little bit of shimmer. Gotta love that. And then the white is just great. They're basically like a paint pen. And so you get a nice opaque line. You can't see that too well, but... And those were... Took me a minute, but yes, those were also part of the November box. So I guess maybe if I had a favorite box, I might have to say it would be November because three of my top five items did in fact come in the November box. That's a good box for me. Um, so that is, and then I wanted to also mention some honorable mention items, which didn't necessarily make my top five, but are sort of favorite supplies and, and I would like to use them more. And one of them is one from February, I believe. This is the Delgard mechanical pencil. It's a mechanical pencil, it's a pencil. So those aren't always my favorite just because, I don't know, they're not as exciting, but they are really useful. And I think one of the reasons it made it honorable mention is because I am using this. I'm still using this. I use it more than maybe some of the other supplies because it's a great mechanical pencil. And I think that I do break things pretty easily. So this spring loaded part, I think the one thing I would like is if it's a bit of a soft lead, I think I'd like it if it was, well, I can always put some harder lead in there. I just haven't yet. Um, so that's the only thing that it's a little bit, it puts pretty dark lines. And when I'm sketching, I want to be able to erase them, but this is an excellent mechanical pencil, the Zebra Delgard. Point five, honorable mention. Another honorable mention is a weird supply. Now this one, you might remember if you're following, is from the October box. And 
Look at these beautiful lines. It was nifty. It's completely different and unique to me, and that's why I really like it. Now, I don't use it as often as some of the other supplies. It's somewhat limiting, and the line, you just, you really can only get that line weight um, out of it, but it's pretty cool. I liked it. And uh, and so with it, also the ink, I picked, there was orange and black, but black is so, you know, every, you know, it's not as unique as orange. So I pulled out the orange one to show you. And this is, I have, there's this little um, cleaning that super thin. You can watch my uh, video. I'll put a link to the whole playlist in, um, in an eye card, but yeah, this is to clean the nib out. I haven't really needed to use it. Um, so anyway, but I was afraid I'd lose it because it's small. So I just have it washy to the actual painting pen. This is just a nifty little, little, uh, tool. And so honorable mention to that item, an honorable mention to the December box with the Daniel Smith dot card. Now, dot card is this actually it's gone a long way to trying out the different colors I mean it is limited in how much you can do with just a dot but I love the Daniel Smith watercolors and I've really enjoyed trying out all the different colors so honorable mention to that I think it's an excellent supply and it's worth having and finally I would like to give an honorable mention to the needed eraser, the humble needed eraser. Now, the reason it's probably not in my top five is because you can kind of, it's not really unique, I guess. And here it was in the March box, extra large needed eraser uh, by Faber Castell. This is only a portion of it. Um, and it's in this little container because I get it so dirty. Um, so I just put it in there, but you know, a needed eraser, most artists, will say, you know, it's an essential tool. Um, so I love using it. I'm still using it to uh, lighten lines. Just a very useful art supply. And, you know, you can always use one. And I have them in multiple places. In fact, I lose things a lot. So one of them is in some sketching bag and I'm not sure where it is. But this one was right on my desk. So that is an honorable mention to that supply. Now, if you like this content and if you liked seeing sort of the review of the year, I am looking at all the different brushes. We got 10, I believe 10 brushes um, in 2022. And just a little sneak preview because if a month did not have a brush, it had, well, this month also had a brush as well as this painting pen, but that's kind of like a brush. There are some other items that I pulled out to look at and consider. So one of the months it didn't necessarily have a paintbrush, but had this little number. There was this little number and there was also this little number, which kind of was the replacement. But then look at all these paintbrushes and I think I have some more. So I'm trying to pick a favorite. It is so hard for me to pick a favorite, but if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments so that I can know whether or not to continue with that process because I am really testing them out and trying to decide which ones are my favorites, but you can get a good idea of what kinds of things come in the box and, you know, an overview of the last year, or maybe you're interested in a certain box. Sometimes they have extras of certain months, so it's a great way to check that out. And just let me know, and as always, I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your support, and I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Bye!